Well, good morning, one and all. It is uh, good to be with you today as we uh, gather in Jesus' name uh, on this beautiful Friday. It is chilly today, uh, but our devotion today, I'm just going to get straight to the devotion because uh, I'm also in the middle, middle of an elders meeting. Uh, but uh, our devotion today comes from Psalm chapter 56. Psalm 56, beginning with verse 1. Hi, John. Hi, hi, Kat. Uh, the Lord says, be, uh, the, the, the uh, psalmist says, beginning in verse 1, chapter 56, Be gracious to me, O God, for man tramples on me all day long. An attacker oppresses me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many attack me proudly. When I am afraid... I put my trust in you. Note that when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Good morning, Jackie. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Then skipping to verse eight, you have kept count of my tossings, Put my tears on your bo on your bottle. They are they are not in your are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. In God whose word I praise. In the Lord whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? Good morning, John and Dottie. Good morning, Dell and Sharon. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, you all. We're here, in, I'm here in the library this morning, uh, social distancing with our elders, um, and uh, uh, wanted to pause our elders meeting so I could have these devotions with you from Psalm 56. But what a beautiful psalm, and what a beautiful statement of faith my tramp, my enemies are trampling on me, uh, and when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, I trust. It says that on our money. In God, I trust. Um, you know, things come upon us in life: disasters, storms, all kinds of tragedies. Some of them are unintended. Um, traffic accidents happen. Circumstances occur that are sometimes beyond our control. Um, and then, then there are things, times, situations where things are intentional that come our way. And so um, we ask, or the psalmist asks, when, when I am afraid, he, he says, I put my trust in you, he says. When things go, are going on in my life, I put my trust in you. One person was sharing not long ago that uh, that he thought he was going to die. And then he said he was afraid he wouldn't um, because he got food poisoning. Uh, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Um, this COVID-19, we're meeting with the elders right now. We're talking about some reentry plans for Christ Lutheran Church once the safer at home order has been lifted and we're able to gather back together. And uh, to be quite honest with you, some are going to be afraid. Some are gonna be nervous about coming out. And this phrase in Psalm 56 is a beautiful phrase. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. You see, this is a prayer. This is a prayer and it's a lifelong motto that we need to cling to. Because as the psalmist says, I, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. So whether things happen to us that are um, natural disasters or things that happen inadvertently or even if they're intentional, God knows our situation. God knows when we hurt. God knows the circumstance beyond, about the situation we find ourselves 
and whether it's intentional or unintentional, whether it's accidental, etc. God knows our hurt and he knows our tears before our eyes are filled with them. Uh, the psalmist says in Psalm 139, in your book are written every one of them, the days that are formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. My friends, you see what's happening. God is keeping watch and we can be certain that he is on our side. And so as we live through this environment, as we live through this COVID-19 situation, the safer at home order, we're home now, what, 50 some odd days? Who thought it would go that long? But, um, but nonetheless, um, as we're going through this, God knows that we belong to him and God is on our side and he is watching over us. Uh, St. Paul says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Right? Amen? If God is for us, who can be against us? You see, the God in whom we trust, the God whose word we praise, he knows what it is to be trampled and attacked by enemies. Jesus, who is God in the flesh, he was betrayed and he was handed over to his attackers and so we might ask, what can flesh do to me? Jesus perhaps asked that. I don't know. What can flesh do to me? But even if he did, and we know that his enemies did, did their worst, uh, he was condemned to death. He was beaten. He was ridiculed. He was nailed to a cross like a common criminal. But from that cross, he cried that beautiful prayer, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then he also prayed another beautiful prayer. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So you see, he placed in his trust in God, our gracious Heavenly Father. The psalmist, the psalmist writes in Psalm 22, In you our fathers trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued, in you they trusted and were not put to shame. So you see, in love for us and in trusting his heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, laid down his life. He paid the penalty for the sin that we had earned all by ourselves. And just as God recorded the days, uh, all of our days in his book, all that happened to Jesus, note this, happened before the foundation of the world. God knew all about it before the foundation of the world. And so although Jesus' enemies mocked and, and ridiculed him and killed him, he trusted his Father. He trusts in the Lord, they said, he trusts in the Lord, let him deliver them. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him, the psalmist records. And God did deliver his son from death. And he was delighted in that deliverance. And in his book are written every single one of them, the events that occurred in Jesus' day and years later. Because God's son, Jesus Christ our Lord, rose triumphant from the grave. So what of us? What of us? We have on our money in God we trust. What of us? Well, you and I, we are baptized and united with Christ. We're united with him in his death and in his resurrection. And in his book of days, as they pass by one after another, our days are written in God's book as well. And just as, as uh, Jesus' enemies uh, tra tried to trample upon him, he ultimately won the victory and trampled upon them in his resurrection. So what of us? Well, you and I, we're part of that. We're part of that resurrection. And in that, and because of Jesus' resurrection, we have hope. We have hope that neither death nor life, nor things present, nor things, things present will ever separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
So whatever we're going through today, we can be assured, we can be encouraged that God is for us. And so as the psalmist said in Psalm 56, Psalm 56, let me get the exact verse here. <clears throat> 56 verse 3, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So know, dear friends, whatever you're going through right now, you can put your trust in God. Hey, Paul, we can, you can put your trust in God because you belong to him. And if you're afraid, if you're being ridiculed, if you're being persecuted in some fashion or another, if some people don't understand, don't understand you, know that you can put your trust in God and God has already delivered you and know that nothing will ever separate you from the love of God. No one will ever snatch you out of the Father's hand. Isaiah the prophet, the Lord sp speaking through Isaiah the prophet says in Isaiah 43, uh, uh, no, no, my train of thought just left me. Ah, a senior moment. Um, oh, I knew, he says, he says, I knew you in your mother's womb and, and I called you by name and you are mine. That's what he says. I called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. You are mine. So, dear friends, know that you can trust God. Know that he is your Lord and Savior. And know that he is with you always. In him you can truly trust. No need to be afraid. No need to be afraid at all. All right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, shall we? We thank you, our God and gracious Heavenly Father, for this wonderful day. And we thank you, dear Lord, for your mercies, which are new every morning. Lord, when we are afraid, help us to trust you. We praise you, dear Lord, that in your word, that we know that this promise is for us. That in your word, we know that your steadfast love endures forever and that you have recorded all of our days, you have recorded all of our tears, and you have written them down in your book. So keep watch over us and bring us safely through every attack of, our, of, 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 the, of things that come at us, whether they are enemies, uh, our enemy of the devil, when he attacks us, keep us safe. When people attack us, keep us safe from them. And even, dear Lord, when we are plagued with an illness, deliver us from that as well. And keep us safe until your book of our life opens to its final and ending chapter. Hear our prayer, dear Lord, for the sake of, of Jesus, our Lord. Lord, I ask that you be with those who are troubled who are uh, sick right now. Lord, those who are worried about the future, those who are concerned about finances, those who are concerned about, about health because their health is compromised. Lord, help us all, help them and help us all to trust in you at all times. Even when we're even if we happen to be afraid, help us to trust you. And Lord, I pray that if it be your will, dear Lord, that you would allow healing to come upon all people, upon the sick. But Lord, if you would want us to go through this tribulation, then we ask you, dear Lord, to give us the grace to endure this affliction, knowing, dear Lord, that Nothing in all of creation will ever separate us from your love. We ask this, dear Lord, and we ask that you keep us safe, that you keep us from the evil one, that all of our doings in life would please you. Lord, we pray that, that uh, you would keep us from sin, that you would keep us from harm, 
that you would keep us from danger. And may we glorify you in everything we do and say. We ask this in Jesus' name who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for hanging on. And uh, I pray that you have a wonderful day in the Lord, that you are encouraged, that your faith is, uh, will be strengthened, and that you will find and see opportunities where you can share the love of Christ with those that you come in contact with today. So I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back to my elders here, and uh, we're going to figure out, we're going to solve the problems of the world. <laughs> well, maybe not, but uh, at least we're going to come up with an outline, a skeleton plan of uh, moving forward. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit bless you all, encourage you all, and keep you strong in the Lord. Go in peace, dear friends. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.